Did Time for Ed again? Wallace. Oh, Ed oh. Wallace, yes. Yeah. And th this car looks pretty nice. Well, we're bookending Korean high-end cars back-to-back. -back. We had the Kia K900 last week, which, by the way, is one of two cars this year I reviewed. I didn't want to give it back on Monday. It was that delightful. The other being the Chevy SS. We first saw the Genesis five, six years ago when it came out. My review at the time said quite simply that somehow Hyundai had managed to knock off perfectly the 1998 Lexus LS sedan, which was a big compliment. They updated the cars a couple times, so three years ago we reviewed it again, and it was the second best car I reviewed that year for the money and said so in the Star-Telegram. Now this time around we're going to have a V6 engine with about 311 horsepower. This one has the same 5 liter V8 we had last week in the K900 that's 420. Base price on this Genesis is $38,000 with a V6, but this one with V8 and everything on it jumps up to 557. I've read reviews all week long that this is now a great competitor to the BMW 5, uh, a great competitor to the Lexus GS, and it's not. Those are luxury sports sedans, and this is a luxury sedan, not to be confused with the other. So, we have a nicely laid out dash. I'm looking for huge changes in this Genesis over the one we reviewed three years ago to say here's how they've massively improved it, and what I find is more like refinements across the board. Navigation system is absolutely wonderful, but it was in the last generation too. Air conditioning blows cold. It is very quiet on the road, but it's not whisper quiet like the Kia K900 was. Of course, that was 10 grand more. Looking into the back area, it's got wonderful seating for five people. You could put four people in, one behind each other, probably about six foot or six foot one. It has that much room to it. And when I was driving it on the road, I got the same wonderful, heavy feeling, easy to handle, luxury car ride that I would get, very similar to a 7 Series or the Lexus LS sedan. Nice trunk space, could be cut down over the bumper maybe another inch for easier access for even bigger boxes, but overall it's well done. So I wanted to find that big difference, as I said. Why is this one getting rave reviews when the last one just got very, very good reviews? And other than small refinements, I haven't been able to find it. The Genesis with the V6, nicely equipped, has a window sticker with technology package everything in the mid-40 range. And believe it or not, at that price, it's an exceptional value. But if everybody thinks this one is so much greater, they were being unfair to the last one because it was every bit as good. With that, y'all have a good weekend. Maybe an argument for buying a used one. Mm-hmm. Oh, mm-hmm. Just don't tell that to the new car dealers. Ed's on the radio, 570 KLIF tomorrow. His car column always in Saturdays, also known as tomorrow's mm -hmm. Fort Worth Star-Telegram.